Hi everyone, let's understand what is the difference between dendrogram and icicles. Icicles plots and dendrogram we usually create when we are doing cluster analysis and through SPSS also we can create dendrogram and icicle plots and in our studio as well as in Python we can create dendrograms versus icicle plots. But before starting this, first of all we would understand what is dendrogram and what is icicles. Dendrogram is basically that is the diagram that is the arrangement of the clusters produced by hierarchical cluster. Where is the hierarchical data is the kind of that data. Where is hierarchical clustering is here. So that represents the hierarchical relationship between objects in the form of a tree structure. So where each branch represents a possible split or merge at different levels of similarity or distance. So I just want to show you this is the dendrogram and uh, you can create this dendrogram using uh, SPSS or as well as you can create through Python and RStudio also. What are the key components of a dendrogram? So here is three important components. One is leaves. Leaves we can call it terminals. So that represent the individual object or data points. You can see these are the leaves that is the individual objects or data points. Second is branches. You can see these are the branches and branches or internal nodes. So represent the clusters formed by merging or splitting. You can see here these are merging right and these are not merged and with the help of this these are merged. So height or levels this is we can call it height or we can call it levels. So these, there is how many levels right so we can talk about. So these levels that indicates the distance or dissimilarity at which the clusters are combined or divided. Right? It is it is reflecting uh, dissimilarities or distance from which the clusters are combined or divided. So it is it is reflecting distances. Now we would understand these horizontal lines as well as these vertical lines also in this dendrogram. But before starting, this one is types of dendrogram. So you can say agglomerative bottom up that starts with each object as a single clusters and merge the closest pairs of the cluster step by step until all objects are in a single cluster that is agglomerative but here is divisive top down that starts with all objects in a single cluster and recursively split the most heterogeneous clusters into smaller clusters so we can understand with the help of this diagram this is the dendrogram and this is the agglomerative when it is started from this one is you can say bottom to up. Each object these are the single single objects and these are clubbed at this stage. These are also clubbed at this stage and further these are clubbed with the help of this cluster right. So after that until or unless one cluster it has created. Right. So black line it is reflected that is the all clusters in a one single group. But when we talk about top down so it starts with all objects in a single cluster and recursively splits the most heterogeneous cluster into smaller cluster. So that is top topest one you can say all these clusters within this cluster then uh, again further is divided into two and further this cluster is divided into further more clusters and after that we can see these are the heterogeneous picture right then we come to the then we come to the here is applications of dendrogram hierarchical clustering visualize the results of hierarchical clustering and understand the relationship between data points that's most important data exploration also identify natural groupings in the data and understand the structure and distribution and bioinformatics also commonly used in analysis of genetic data such as constructing and phylogenetic Trees. This one is uh, icicles plots we will understand in our next uh, video then I would explain. Thank you. Stay tuned. Keep watching.